Welcome to the nuclear weapon display in the main museum room at Hack Green. The weapons on display here are the most extensive public display in Europe. In collaboration with the atomic weapons establishment Aldermaston AWE, you can discover the recent history of our nuclear deterrent, from Polaris to Trident. These red-tipped bombs are WE-177As. These are the last airdropped nuclear weapons that served during the late 1960s to the 1990s. They were carried by Vulcan, Vixen, Buccaneer, Jaguar, Tornado and Harrier aircraft. These bombs weighed 272 kilograms, around 600 pounds, and had a yield of 10 kilotons, around two thirds the size of the weapon used at Hiroshima, which was 15 kilotons. However, the WE-177B and C, the larger models, had a yield of 450 kilotons, some 30 times the size of the bomb used at Hiroshima. Here we have dummy and real Polaris warheads, along with cases used for the movement of nuclear warheads. You can see the exterior shell of the container outside near the car park. Polaris is a submarine-launched nuclear missile developed by the United States of America. As part of the Nassau Agreement, the USA agreed to give the UK the Polaris missile and the necessary information to manufacture them in the UK. And the system was formally purchased in 1963 in the Polaris Sales Agreement. Polaris was the largest project in the Royal Navy's peacetime history. The weapon weighed 16,200 kilograms or 35,700 pounds and contained three warheads, each with a yield of 200 kilotons with an overall yield of 600 kilotons. Here we have the Project Chevrolet in display. Polaris was not designed to penetrate anti-ballistic missile defences, so the Royal Navy sought to develop Polaris so that it could overcome these obstacles. The programme, known as Antelope, aimed to develop and improve the Polaris system. This produced the Chevrolet project, an intermediary between Polaris and the later Trident system. It became operational in 1982 on HMS Renown, the last British ballistic missile submarine. It was withdrawn from service in 1996. Following the Polaris and Chevrolet programmes, the US went on to develop Poseidon, which the government considered too expensive. The UK went on to adopt the Trident missile system, initially developed by the Lockheed Missiles and Space Corporation. It is a submarine-launched, long-range ballistic missile. The Trident system continues to be the UK's major nuclear deterrent. So that was our nuclear weapons display. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments and I'll try and answer them as best I can. I also want to add a little bit of fun to the videos. So at the end of each video, I'm going to put up a picture of an object from the collection and your job is to guess what it is and what it does. So here is our first guess the object. I will tell you if you got it right in the next video. That's all for now. So stay home, stay safe and thanks guys.